Hey, y'all, it's your girl Marley from Royals Poly Life, and y'all are here on the podcast, Down for the Crown. I hope y'all ready. Hey. So we have a special guest today by the name of Monique Abel. It's a good friend of mine. I met her, and it's been love ever since. As y'all know, this is Bree. What do you do? This is our Poly King Royal. Woo-woo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bree, take us away. Let's go. Let's go. All right, y'all. So today we got a very, very good topic waiting for y'all. Okay, y'all. We are talking about Black-owned businesses. Today okay. is that topic. Today is the day to talk your ish. Today is the day to get it out. Um, today is the day to also get information um, very good informative information um, that a lot of you new people want to start a business or wanting to know how you're going to get like a lot of different examples, a lot of different topics and things that you guys need. So you guys get your pen and paper ready and let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> All right. So, so, hey, Monique, what's your Instagram and stuff before we start this? What do yes. you do? What do you give to the you know, what what are you what is what's your really occupation? Um, first off, I am a boss, a full time entre- entrepreneur. Um, the brand is Be Unique, will forever be Be Unique. And you can follow me on Instagram at B underscore U N three E's E E E K um on Instagram and um Facebook at Be Unique Boutique where you can find all things beauty. We have, uh, we are actually in transition right now. We're going bigger. We just relocated from a full service open salon and we are doing salon suites going forward. We have a stylist. We have nail techs. We have massage therapists. We have estheticians on the team. Um, We are growing and and expanding. So I'm super excited for everything that's to come. And thank you all for having me here on the podcast today. Yes, thank you. I like that, y'all. So I have a few questions for you today. I have a few answers for you. (laughs) Oh, period. So how do you feel about these new and upcoming Black-owned businesses from the past three years? And a lot of these Black women are really accomplishing these goals. How do you feel that is so many more Black-owned businesses around the world right now? I love it. When I tell you, I feel like there is nothing better than... Like, I don't like to make it a racial thing. However, we have come a long way as as women. black black women yes. alone. We have come a long way. Mm-hmm. And just to be able to start something and really see it through, have a vision for something and really see it through, that alone means more than more to me than anything else. And I truly feel like we are discredited a lot because of um just past experience from other business owners you know you can't allow one black owned business to deter you from supporting another black owned business because we are all not the same and you have to understand that it's levels to everything when it comes to doing business what you don't know is what you just truly don't know until you get the necessary tools or connect with the people who can put you on that level so um, have some grace with people uh, dur- right. during their process and um, it's not what you know it's who you know it's not what you know, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a journey for all of us we are starting out half of us really don't know what we're doing but we just go with the flow anyway Um, even for myself I'm gonna make this quick so you can get on to the next question even for myself my girlfriends called me the risk taker because I truly am about Mm. that life I truly feel like without the risk without the risk there is no No reward reward. and um, you gotta be willing to bet on yourself like Mm. when I have a vision for something I go for it and in my mind it's either gonna work I'm either gonna sink or swim Uh, period and that's just that (laughs) Period. And we ain't sinking. We're not sinking at all. At all. It ain't no going home. So we we straight swimming, man. Let me tell you something. How do you feel about these successful women that did not have the full proper education setting and still made it? How do you feel about that? I'm one of them. (laughs) So 
Talk so, your so, ish, Monique. So I can relate. I love it so much because when you are the underdog, when you have people mm. who doubt you, yes. like people, listen, when you are going to another level, you need the hate. Mm. You need the <laughs> people to say, you know what? Oh, she ain't going to be able to do that. Ain't no way. She came from the projects. Her grandma came from the projects. Mm. Her mama came from the projects. But what they don't Period. understand is when they hate on you, that's mm. your fuel. It's a fuel they to the fire. You ammunition. They don't understand that. I say that all the time. All the time. All the time. So it's necessary. It's necessary. I love to see black women who have went through hell. I love to see them just overcome because it's not possible for a lot of women. You got it takes strength and endurance and Mm. courage to push through. If, if somebody tell you that you can't do something, it's up to you to decide if you can or cannot do that. Huh. So um, I love it. I love to see it. I'm all for the black woman that that pushes through no matter what. Yes. Um, it it takes a lot. We we hold so much down. We hold so many people down. Yes. And honestly, there's nothing like having a black woman by your side. Come on now. Period. Period. And I'm loving this. I'm loving this. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about the business and pleasure? How do you feel about friendships or business and pleasure? Ooh, it's tricky. It's really tricky because I'm just, I can only speak from a place of experience. Um, My heart is so pure in all that I do, and I truly want to see everyone everyone win. However, right. sometimes there's a thin line between business and friendship and, and you can't have your heart in it when it comes to business because if I'm yes. running a business, if you can't handle the business, we can't do business. It's mm. only going to be a friendship mm. and you got to understand where I draw the line between business and friendship like people get that messed up and a lot of people go under Mm. when you mix business and friendship because there has to be boundaries in place there have to be rules set there has to be proper systems in place and everybody got to follow it and not only do you have to have boundaries with other people you got to have boundaries with yourself and you must stand on that that's right that's right I got one for her Brie okay okay um, the struggle to success was it easy getting to where you were where you are now? Oh y'all, it was not easy at all. Listen, I had a car repossessed. Matter of fact, I had if I'm being honest, I had two cars repossessed. But by the grace of God, whoever you believe in, that's your business. Huh. By the grace of God, y'all, it never touched my credit. It never touched my credit. Ooh. And even in the process of that, I own two cars now, paid cash for them full. For my own hard earned money. Huh. Like I I never thought that I would get to a point where I would be able to do that. So it's a wonderful feeling when you especially when you in a valley and sometimes you again, the mind is a tricky thing. If you if you don't learn to take control of that thing, it'll control you. So yes. being able to get in control of that and just knowing that I'm in control mm-hmm. of my life and I I Listen, what I say goes. If I see the vision, I have to do what it, what it, whatever it takes to make it happen. Exactly. Period. Okay. Expecting a handout. Did you expect a handout or you got it from the mud? I got it out the mud. Period. Listen, <laughs> I, I mud, was proud. Listen, listen, listen. My mom, best friend, when I moved here, I drove. Me and my son took us three days. It was a, it was a total experience. Like we went through states we had never visited before. And when I came, I had a vision. Listen, if you don't do anything else, have a vision for your life. It doesn't matter how it's going to happen, but just see yourself in that place five years from now and yes. know that within yourself you're going to do whatever it takes to get there my mom best friend can vouch for you she I was in her house in 30 days I moved into my first condo when I lived here she was like why are you Ooh. such an why are you so in a rush I was on a mission and mm. I didn't want to think that I came out here to depend on her like that was never a thought in my mind so it was necessary for me to get it, I had to get in my own zone because when you in other people's space, other people's perspectives and opinions can weigh in on you, and it can interfere with what God is truly exactly. telling you to do. So exactly, that's right. That's yeah, exactly. Right. So you went hard. I it went was hard. no other way, baby. Out the mud. Is, okay, is almost strong. five it's, years it's, strong. It's, it's, five years strong. Right. Full time entrepreneur. First time ever doing it, and it took me having my faith. My faith took me far. I believed in myself and I put the work in. You got to put the work in. If you don't put mm. the work in... Slow feet don't eat. 
Slow feet don't yeah. eat, baby. They don't eat, period. <laughs> so, so, ambition, determination is everything. Yeah. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. everything. Consistency. And consistency. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, oh, consistency. Talk your ish, Roy. Yes. Period. It's consistency. Oh, your ass on the mic. <laughs> <laughs> so, how you do you I mean? feel? How do you feel about all the new, new up and coming business owners that wants to get an LLC and a business <clears throat> bank account? Can you let them know how? easy it is to take those steps and initiatives to start your business under $100. Under $100. Well, actually, Las Vegas is more than that because your LLC here, mm. I paid $500. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You got to pay $500. Oh. Mm-hmm. Be willing to invest in yourselves. Mm. Yes. But first thing, be, let, let me say this. Before you do any of that, take a customer service class because a problem that I'm having with a lot of black-owned businesses is can't mm-hmm. nobody tell you nothing. Mm-hmm. And no one is wanna, gonna want to do business with someone who does bad business. Mm-hmm. I don't care how Most good you definitely. are at something. If your vibe is off, if you're disrespectful, watch what reason do I have to give you my money? Period. When I can, can go, go around anywhere, the corner. Right. Exactly. So um, you can mm-hmm. definitely start your LLC. $500 here in Las Vegas, Nevada on the Secretary of State website. Um, have your business name, get your EIN, and you can get that on the IR, um, EIN. Is that the IRS website? Dingo, yeah. I, yeah. It's the IRS Guns website. Um, make sure you do it Monday through Friday because it's free when you do it that mm-hmm. way. Yeah. Um, and get your business bank account. Take all of those documents once it is set up and go to a bank. Get your business bank account. Start building your business credit. Business credit is key. It's way better than personal credit because oh, even me... Being an entrepreneur for five years now, I paid cash for so much, but I really understand the power of credit Mm -hmm. and um, you can do so much more with it. Like your business credit can buy you um, land. It can buy you Mm -hmm. houses. Mm -hmm. It can buy you. It can do just as much as your personal credit. And the greatest part about it is you can build it up even faster. Just do your research. Research. They don't have Google for nothing. Do your research. So I have a question for you. Homework. Hmm. What is one or two things that you will tell a little girl out there watching you right now? The little girl in you will tell that little girl watching you. The little girl in me, listen, honey, you can do anything. Hmm. It doesn't matter what anyone say to you. All that matters is what you think about yourself. So if you think that you are that girl, you are that girl. If you think that you're not that girl, you're not that girl. So... Hmm. Have that thought in your mind. It doesn't matter what anyone else say. I just, I literally, I wish I had my phone in here. I just, t- I just send a voice message to my son. And I said, in life, you got to understand you're going to have haters. If mm-hmm. you're not, if you don't have no haters, you're not popping. You ain't mm-hmm. popping. So believe in yourself. It doesn't matter. Like, it does not matter what anyone else thinks. All that matters is what you think about yourself. And after that, the rest will become history. Exactly. Yes, I'm exactly. loving that. Sure. So how do you feel about the impact since COVID? How do you feel like the businesses took a hit? Do you feel like it took a drastic big hit? Or do you feel, how do you feel about that? Honestly, if you a true hustler like myself, during COVID, I made the most money I've ever made in my entire life. Um, it was too much money floating around not to. You know, you just have to get in. You have to get creative and tap into your creative side. Yes, true enough. This is not to uh, talk down on businesses that had to shut down. It is a lot of businesses that businesses that had to shut down, but it's also a lot of businesses that prospered and made mm. more money than they would ever make in their entire years of giving service to their clients. So again, I think it just all depends on what space you're in in your life and if it's your season. When it's your season, you got to go crazy. Seriously, Ooh, yes. it's no stopping. When it's your season, I'm 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 gonna speak on that. When it's your season, there's no stopping you. Your head yes. needs to be held high, and you need to go because that door is open for you, and it's not gonna be open all the time. It's going it's temporary, so you got to rush to that door. You see what I'm saying? You got to get through that door. And, and, and for the people people that want to know, how do you know if it's your season? It's a feeling. Yeah, that mm-hmm. feeling. That it feeling. like. When it's time Abundance. for me to go, you feel it. You feel it. Everything it's undeniable. It's undeniable, yeah. and you, you see more go money crazy. that you ever seen. You hey, feel more too, love. It was too much money. Ooh, it was too much yeah. money. I was out there. Yo, the love, love, it's the love. It's the love for me. I was trying to get on that. 
it's the love start me. realigning. Yeah, like yeah, yes, I feel does. love from my mates right now that I have not felt in a long time. It's our season. You see what I'm saying? It's time to go. Yes. It's time to go. Yeah. And guess what? If you don't go, you can miss your turn. Yes, you can. Yeah. And, and God Most be like, definitely. well, I gave you the opportunity, uh-huh. but you sat on it. Yep. When it's your turn, you mm-hmm. have to go crazy every yes. single time. And every don't time. think you can't. It, God send people too. He'll God send people best. to open your yes, eyes like does. I'm talking to you. So don't think that everybody is behind you or above you or under you. Just think that you're on your level and you're going at your rate and pace. I want, I, even oh, with you goodness. saying that, I want to say this because a lot of people, now that I'm like connected with y'all and people don't know, it was a natural vibe. It really was. Um, people really don't was, even so. know that how just as much as y'all needed me, I needed y'all. Man. It was like Period. a mutual thing. God will connect you with yes. the people oh, yeah. every single time. But he also will connect you with the people and remove the people that is not necessary for your life. Come so on. don't right fight that either. He'll take them people right out your life and you'll still be trying to hold on when them people is not. It's done. Your season for them people is done. You're moving uh. forward. And by you holding on, you can block your blessings. Lose them. Mm. You so sure guess can. what? You got... Listen, everything is a feeling. When you mm-hmm. become um, when you become more spiritual and you mm-hmm. connect whoever your higher power is. I'm not pushing no type of religion off on anyone. Jesus. Mm-hmm. But whoever your higher power is, <laughs> once you tap into that, you will know. You will know when it's a, when the season is up and yep. it's time to move forward. And you got to act on it. You yep. cannot stay in that place because guess what? You stand in that place, it can truly be a curse to your life. Huh. Oh, no, period. Because when it's up, then it's real. up. When it's up, then it's stuck. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Keep it you up. You got to go. Up, I'm serious. You, you have, you, it's the vibe. You feel it. Yeah, you God will put you in positions. You, 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 you got to just see the vision. Vibe. Ooh, like, like she said, you, you got to see it. Yeah. <laughs> He'll put it, you it, in it, positions it. to where you like, I can't believe Woofy Woof no. just did that. Oh, man. I yeah. can't mess with that person no I more. I cannot mess mm-hmm. with that person. And even when it come around, it'll feel funny. It wouldn't it'll even be able funny. to sit it still. It'll feel fake. Yeah. You be like, you start looking at the you side of your eyes like, still a problem. Like, wait a minute. I don't know about you. <laughs> I'm going to keep my eye off you. My good eye. You blink it too many times. For real. I'm serious. It will be a feeling that you cannot deny. It's just like an overwhelming feeling that you get like, ugh, like it's hot. Like you can't sit there. For the people so for the people that's wondering, how did you get that feeling? Get in alignment. Huh? Mm. You got to get in alignment. That's the only way. I can't, I don't know, no other way to tell you. When, when you are in alignment, everything aligns and it makes yep. sense. Everything so does. You, it, it's yes. too much confusion going around going on around Bad you getting get in your quiet place yes. get quiet and learn to hear learn to learn to be connected to the people that guess what sometimes God will speak I got a question through people for you oh, okay you got a question no that's facts that's facts you know what I'm saying that is. my baby got a question hey but look all right this is what I gotta say right here right how does everyone all y'all right mm-hmm. feel about the drive to the younger generation on their goals mm. How do y'all feel? I feel like honestly, it's so much pressure with social mm-hmm. media, TikTok. You, you, people want to live up to the standard. When again, everything starts from within. Yes. No, no, no. I'm, I'm not. I'm not saying. My bad. Not to cut you off. Right? No, no, no. But but he's, he's good no, at that. No, no. Cutting you off. I'm saying as far as somebody that's really determined, somebody that's really passionate about things. But drink. okay, hold wait, on. But, wait, hold on, hold on. But but people just trying to push them away and just don't like you know. Oh, okay, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like mm-hmm. that. That's what I'm on. But it's your driving you. You. Can't nobody stop no. you if you say you going. You we hear going. So many knows, it's right? always a yes, and this is what I always say. It's going. You can hear a million no's, but it's going to be one yes that's going to open the door to your life. You that's can it. hear plenty of no's and no's, 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 but it's going to be that one yes that take you to the top where you need to be, and yes, you just yes. got to believe it. And and the people didn't. It's not for them to see your dream and your. It's and not. It's for not no for one. them. It's for no. you to see your dream. You keep going. No matter how many times it take you to switch up careers, switch up what you're doing, you know what you got to do. Period. That is a word. Because yeah. listen, y'all don't know, when I relocated to Las Vegas four years ago, this year will make five years, I had a vision. It didn't, mm. when, when you have a made-up mind, nothing can stop a woman or a man with a made-up mind. Mm. I had people telling me I was crazy. Mm. Why are you going to Las Vegas? You don't know anyone out there. You don't even have a job lined up. Y'all, I am almost five years in. Airbnbs, salon owner, 
uh, own two cars, car rental car services. You cannot tell me what God cannot do. Mm. No, nobody can tell me that because I put the work in and I'm, I had the vision and I stayed true to that vision. But let me tell you this. You put the work in. Some people will sit here and pray to God and think mm. it's just going to fall in their lap. It's not mm. going to work like that. God going to line it for you, but you got to move and go get it. Work God, make you got to put the work in. You have nice. to make them feet work. It, you can't just sit there and be like, oh, I'm going to be rich tomorrow. Yeah, mm. you might hit the lotto. You, you got to plant the seeds and watch them grow. Exactly. Exactly. Period. Exactly. And you can't Period. think that it's overnight. Sometimes it will happen overnight. But guess what? You cannot compare your story to the next person's story mm-hmm. because what's going to happen for Marley is going to be different for me. What's mm-hmm. going to happen for Bree is going to be different for me. What's going to happen for Royal is we're all different. God have a every single one of us. God have a plan for your life, mm-hmm. and it's very strategic when He don't play about you. Exactly, and He don't play about His. He Let me say that play He, he don't That's play about His. Now. I don't care <laughs> what you say about His. He don't play. He don't about play. His. He don't play. So, don't and play. I'm His anointed, mm-hmm. so Listen, He don't play about me. And it makes Period. people uncomfortable when you walk in it, huh? Oh, it makes people so uncomfortable when you walk Ooh. in it and you own who you are. But guess what? That's a part of being unique. Hmm. Walking the in brand. the faith of that power walk- is such amazing. <laughs> but you can't do nothing little. Everything got to be big. Everything big. Period. Everything, Everything big. Everything. Everything big. <laughs> nothing small. Everything. Here. Everything. From Everything when you talk, big. it got to be big. From big. when you walk, it yes. got to be big. Real big. Everything. Your <laughs> house got to be big. If it ain't big, Yo, it got to look gotta big in the inside. The energy <laughs> got to be big. You got to feel me. Even I can be on the camera and not say a word, but you feel my energy. Huh. That's how big it is. Yes. Yes. Seriously. Okay, I have another question for you. And Royal. Okay. Okay. Monique, you can go first. Okay. How do you feel now that you have became who you became? How do you feel users attach themselves to you? Oh. Let me tell you. Oh. <laughs> this this one is deep because the higher you go, the more people are going to be exposed. Mm. And it's going to hurt you because you'd be like, "Damn." Excuse my French. I thought they really messed with me. Mm-hmm. Well, really, they was just a leech. Mm. I want to be attached to you because of where you're going, but I don't really care about what you got going on. But I know you know this person. I know that you're doing this. I know that you're doing that. I don't really want to support you. I don't really want to be a part of what you got going on. And it really hurts when you see it because mm. you got to let them people go. And you got to really, you got to really... Feed them with a long spoon. Guess what? I love you, but I'm going to love you from a distance. Mm-hmm. I accept you for who you are, but I'm going to choose not to deal with you. And that is the most painful thing when you really love somebody. Yes. Like, I, when I love, I love. Fa- friends, family, associates, it does not matter. When I love, I love you for real. And, and so that's why it give works me a for you, though, to. Monique, because... Even though it break your heart, you let them go. Even it though it break my heart, it fix my vision. Exactly. And 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 you believe in God. You believe that he's going to, huh, it's there. Every I, got, time. I got it. If Every I fall, time. you got me. So even though it break your heart, you got it. You you know you where you and going. you got to know that it comes with the process. It comes with the elevation. When people say it's truly lonely at the top, it is because really? people people can't understand that. Guess what? We came from the same place, but how you up there and I'm still down here. It don't it. I can't explain it because you if you if you weren't about where I'm at, mm-hmm. then you not worry about where you need to be, and mm-hmm. you need you worry about the wrong thing. You gotta if worry you about yourself. You minding my business, and I'm minding my business. My business. Somebody who's minding your business? Minding your who's, business? Who's minding your business? <laughs> They're dog. They, they, they see. They see the vision. They see. Listen, they see the gold. Listen, that you minding it. Who huh, minding yours? Huh? Like a dog. Yeah. Just, <laughs> listen. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> that, that, that's it. If I mind my business, you mind my business. Who mind yours? For real. Who mind? <laughs> Nobody, because he. Please let me know. Here, here, all over. Here. But I want to say this, okay? <sighs> when we were. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to talk about this. When we were at the bottom, bottom meaning, bottom, struggling, check the check. In the valley. The yeah, trenches. in the valley. When we was out there, you know, we had more friends. You know what I'm Man, saying? It was like more. we had more. Because yes. they can relate to you. Mm. Oh. 
That's yes. what it's about. When when somebody when they can no longer relate to you, it's like, oh, she thinks she better than me. Oh, hmm. she think you getting out I don't. That world. I'm just hmm. going. I'm I'm going to a new level now. Right. You can either you can even either, either level up with me in your own way, or mm-hmm. you can stay the same. Seriously, Janae Ayako said this very clear in one of her songs, and she, it was so true. She said, "Shame on me for changing." Then she said, no, 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 shame on you for staying the same. Hmm. Hmm. You're not going to make me feel guilty for leveling up. Yeah. Why stagnate? Or dumbing Why yourself do down to, to mess with you. I, I, don't, to, I, don't, yes. I don't go around people that make me feel like I got to dim my light. I'm hmm. too bright of a person. My energy is too good. There's people in the world that need my energy. Yes. And the people who try to make me uncomfortable in that, I realize they're not for me. I got to put you over here and I'm going to keep on going. I'm hmm. not looking for the to the left or the right of me. I'm going straight ahead. And if you can't, if you're not in my path. To the you, vision. Going straight to the vision. That's mm-hmm. it. Period. That's it. So how do you feel about people taking your kindness for weakness? Listen. Heavy. And it's so crazy that you asked me that because with every level in life, it you you learn something new about yourself. I can talk a good game all day long and say what I'm not going to deal with, who I'm not going to deal with for those reasons. Mm -hmm. But I am truly in a season of my life right now. You either for me or you against me. Mm. And you got one time to show me. And and I'm going to believe what you show me. And I'm going to move forward. Like Mm. people, I feel like we, when you have a good heart, people continuously try you because they know that they can. But the moment that you, again, you got to set those boundaries. Not only for yourself, not only for other people, but for yourself. What do you stand for? Mm. If you tell this man, oh, I forgive you, even though you cheated on me, you, you think that, do you think that he's not going to cheat on you again, especially if you forgive him like this? Oh, her her, her hard kind, she ain't going nowhere. She ain't going to never leave me. Hmm. I'm going to leave you. <laughs> and I'm never going to look back. <laughs> Period. And, and guess what? After me, you're going to look for me and every woman that you date after hmm. me. And you will never find her again. Hmm. And that's just that. That's what I got to say about that. <laughs> <laughs> her. That's on Mary Hill and Lamb. And it's no cocky stuff again. Are you confident? Or are you not confident? And who's to tell you that you can and can't be that way? Is you Period. rolling? Or I ain't is cocky you not? and confident. And when they tell me I'm the best, it's a compliment. Period. Hello. Okay, Period. Royal. So that same question applies to you. What? Um, what do you feel now that you're on a level of success? You're very known when you go out, you know, people see you. What do you feel about a user, people that's trying to attach themselves to you? Treat them accordingly. Treat them accordingly. Bounce, you know, maneuver away from them and maneuver on the simple fact of uh, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta stay my, I gotta stay my my distance. Period. You know what I'm saying? I can't, I can't mess with you, especially if I know you're not, you're not benefit like trying to help me at the same time as me trying to help you. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a way. It's a way you do things. And it's it can't be one sided. You know what I'm saying? It can't be one sided. Like I, I'm, I'm, I'm helping you all the time. But then, you know, when you need something and you, oh, this is that. Mm -hmm. Nah, I want to hear that. But I had you when I didn't even have you. For real. But make that make sense. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Exactly. Okay, babe. Okay, I got got one for the group. How to change yourself to become a better person mentally and physically? Oh, okay. Let me start. (laughs) First and foremost, you got to get uncomfortable. Hmm. Okay, Thanks. you cannot do the same things and expect the same results okay. or different results. Mm-hmm. Okay, you for me, what it was every single morning, I'm intentional with my morning because your morning set the tone for the, your day. Every single morning, I'm making sure I'm feeding my spirit with good things. I'm feeding my mind with nothing but the good things. I'm not listening to, oh, I'm not listening to kill this dude, kill that girl. Like <laughs> I'm listening to things that truly feel, feed my soul and Seriously. make me think on a larger level. You have to do that. You got to be intentional. You set the tone for your day. Mm-hmm. In the morning, my phone is on do not disturb from, from the time I go to bed until like eight o'clock in the morning. After that, I can get myself to the world because I've did what I needed to do for me within mm-hmm. myself. If I don't do that, 
it's gonna it's gonna be chaos. Right. You wonder why you you're not at peace and why people calling you like you once you truly get a, at a place of peace and somebody call you in there. Oh, girl, I can't believe I can't. You know how to handle that. Like, listen, hey, I don't have the mental capacity to handle that for you, for you right now, but I really I'm gonna keep you in my prayers, and that's the best that I can do for you. I hope that you are. Uh, Find peace with this situation because if they <laughs> don't, that drains your energy. Exactly. Yeah. Somebody and else's you gotta problem. Learn, you got to learn to cut it off. Yeah. Out. Somebody yeah. else's problem will drain your energy immediately. Yes. Immediately. Yes. You be like, damn. Yes. You you don't even know what I'm going through. <laughs> <laughs> how, how about ask me how my day going? Yeah. You yeah. know. And people think that you got it like that, so they feel like. Like, even if someone borrow money from you, you again, this goes back to being a kind-hearted person. Oh, well, she got it like that. It's sad that you can't even be who you are on the internet or shine how you want to without people feeling like you got it she like got that. It. And you're they obligated to. Yeah, yeah. and they don't, they, don't, they don't be a man or a woman of their word. If they owe you money, they don't pay you back. Like, that's just not how you operate. Or don't even really want to pay you. Guess what? <laughs> The best thing you can do is pay somebody to get out of your life. Please don't contact me ever again. Yes, you owe me money. And I know that because you owe me money, you're never going to contact me again because you don't want to pay up. Mm -hmm. And we just going to keep it like that. Don't call my phone anymore. You can never call me for anything again until you pay your dues. Hmm. And not even then because I don't know when I'm going to get it back. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> hmm. So, um, Bree, same question goes to you. How... How you change yourself to become a better person mentally and physically? Um, what I like to do is I like to get my inner peace. I'm a water sign. I love water. I love peace. That's how I get the most peace. And five hour shop baths a day. Yep. She and ain't I lying. get I get my peace through that. You know, like I. <laughs> Reach out to, of course, my higher power, of course, you know, and that's Jesus Christ. And I also reach out to my ancestors and all kind of stuff like that because I keep my, I try to keep my spirit aligned. Mm -hmm. If you don't keep your spirit aligned, then you're going to always, be chaos. especially if you have ignitations in the road and bumps and fragments that doesn't like to see you going straight. So, you know, you try your best to stay in your right mm -hmm. stable mind, mm -hmm. you know, Sorry, especially Brie. in critical and um, illiteral situations. Hey, I don't care. Illiteral. illiteral. Uh, <laughs> hey, don't voodoo me. <laughs> That's what we were thinking. You talking about your ancestors. <laughs> <laughs> I got a lot of power right now. Hey, me and Ray look at power. each other like, <laughs> hey, you better not voodoo me. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I have I'm a question you. for y'all since y'all have all the questions for me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> With this Royals poly life, okay, um, it's so funny because we talked about this on our podcast today. But with the Royals poly life, like, how is it? How do you deal with the negative, um, the negative people? How do you deal with the negative comments? Um, Don't just, get rid of them. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> when somebody did, did you have to get it was it a point yeah. where you got to that place Stop like how was it in the comments. beginning where yeah. was it what took place for you to get to that point where you just don't care know they yourself are, they always What's, ask why Royal wasn't on camera give me the second get it, get it. Royal wasn't on camera why Royal don't come to the lives why he don't want to hear negativity so yeah. Now, he's to the point where we don't read the comments. We don't read them at all. We don't go in there. We don't read the comments. We don't, we don't, on live, we'll read our fans or we'll read, you know, stuff like that. But it took a minute. But don't acknowledge it. As soon as you see stupidity or negativity, delete it. Block it. Block mm -hmm. them. Then they'll be in your inbox a week later talking about, can you unblock me? You have to. Because if, they, they, if you internalize that. When then, you know yourself, you don't care. Like, that's how I feel. If I, you know yourself. I don't care about what nobody say because I'm me. And that's exactly. what matters. So if you feel some type of way, I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? I agree to disagree, but that's your opinion, but that ain't my opinion. So it is what it is. Seriously. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Well, I love that because I'm pretty sure it took a lot, especially building from the ground up. Um, it's not for everybody. You have to have a strong mindset. You have to have very, a lot of capabilities in controlling yourself and your actions in order to proceed and prolong that stuff doesn't happen overnight you're gonna have to go through stuff for 
some years, it's influencers. We're still going through stuff on there. Even at the rate that we're at right now, we're still, but you, you know. But you think all them celebrities and everybody like that, you really think they read their comments? No. no. They ain't really. Mm-hmm. And then they, I, they, not, they don't care about that. You know why? Because somebody else is deleting it. They yeah, mm-hmm. and then at the end of the day, you gotta understand trolls is is people that don't have nothing going for themselves. Like, yeah, mm-hmm. you have, losers. Yeah, they just, they, they just sitting there not doing nothing. So at the end of the day, we not finna. We got money to be made, Monique. You see what I'm saying? And if it ain't holding Hello. a dollar sign, we not own that. Hello. Like, <laughs> we was just in a position of our life where we let a lot of our personal things in our life get in between the royals poly life. That's why we took a break for a little bit. But and I, this is the importance of separating personal from business. Yeah. So it doesn't we, matter how you feel. Your business don't care no, how you feel. Exactly. But you still got to take a break for yourself to realign what matters. Mm-hmm. Yes. Exactly. You, you feel what I'm saying? Absolutely. So, so why sabotage your career for a person that's sleeping on somebody's couch? Yeah. You, you sabotage your whole You better head. say that. You sabotage you what, your whole career. Hold on, wait, wait. What'd you say? Because what? Misery little company. Period. Misery loves yes. company. You, you sabotage. It's a lot of miserable people in this world. But it's sitting in your mm-hmm. face like they not. Oh, baby. For but real. be trying to Thanks. soak up all your energy. You feel for what real, I'm saying? For Listen, for or, or, and then in the moment when they feel like they can attack you, it's like, or if you're too happy, it's just irritation. It's too much for them. How's your happiness yes. too much for them? Go on somewhere and be sad in a corner. Don't worry <laughs> about my happiness because this <laughs> ain't going nowhere, okay? That's what I want you to say. Thank you for the ones that root for the Royals Poly Life. Let me and say- those that don't... Hold on, Monique. I'm so sorry. That's and okay. those that don't, y'all know what y'all could do. This like, seriously. <laughs> Let me tell y'all, now that, like, now that people are sick, because before I even got on camera with y'all, I knew y'all when I met you at my salon. Mm-hmm. People are like, oh my gosh, are they trying to try you? Like, you about to be a poly? Are you... Do-? I'm like, listen, I have a mind of my own. Right. They don't pressure me into anything. I like what I like. I am who I am. And that's just what it is. They're my friends. We do business. Mm-hmm. And that's just what it is. Let me tell you this, Monique. Let me tell you this. They think we're a freak show. They think every girl that we sit and talk to, every girl ain't worth to sit in my house. Hello. Every girl ain't worth to come in my house and sit around my man and my kids and my woman. So every girl that come around us don't think that we, it's no one worthy right now to be the fourth. Do you know how many females want to be the fourth? There's no one worthy enough to be the fourth to sit in my king's presence or my queen's presence or my prince and my princess presence. So at the end of the day, that's something they can stop thinking about because when we ready, you'll know because she going to fall right in. She going to fit right in that puzzle piece. And people need to mind the business that pays them because Period. that's not even my lifestyle, but I love them for who they are. It has And we love you, Monique. It we has yes, absolutely we nothing yes, to do with do. me. Listen, listen, I am a one man's woman. One man. And, uh, 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 <laughs> And my man is for me, okay? I don't <laughs> like to share my man. Huh. Now, if I wanted to do something a little frisky, that's my business. But I don't have what they have going on. But I still love them the same, and I don't judge them. People need to mind the business that pays them. Do what works for you. And don't worry about what other people are doing. They think this yes. is a freak show. That's yeah. what it is. They think that this is really a free show. We've been with this woman for nine years. I've been with this man for 16 years. This is our lifestyle. It's not It's not on us. It's in us. Yes. You feel what I'm saying? Right. It's Hello. not, it's yes. not <laughs> nothing that we're trying out or it looks cute to us or... No, this is what it is. This is my wife. This is my husband. Like, don't you think we'll have multiple females running in and out? That if one that girl was can make the case. foundation like, fumble. Uh, what's his name? I'm telling you. Oh. They will, I'm telling yeah. you. Well, yeah, How did y'all like that vegan oh, food, by the way? Me? Oh, I love the vegan food. I love the vegan Fire. food. I love the vegan food. It was the sweet. I'm finna have my mom. My mama will be here tomorrow, right? Uh-huh. So I'm about to have her make me some sweet mustard greens. Ooh. Yes. I never had Ooh. mustard greens. I don't like greens. but She it was just a- need to put a little bit of brown sugar. I don't use the white sugar. I use brown sugar. And you okay. got to know the right amount to put in there. Okay. Um, And it's going to be bomb. Hey, but I listen, never had... Listen, you got to make the pot liquor first. Pot liquor. Okay, pot so liquor. when you make your greens, right... This is on my YouTube channel, The Be Unique Experience. Yeah, exactly. But when you make your YouTube, I mean, when you make your YouTube, <laughs> when you make your greens, you got to have your pot liquor, right? Your pot liquor is separate from the, you got to let your greens boil down first to get that bitter taste off of them. Once that bitter taste is off of them, you drain them and you put them over in a pot liquor and they cook all day, all night or however you're going to do it. Right? Okay. Right. 
so good, y'all. Listen, it, yeah, because okay. I'm finna um, I believe you on that. Make cause... me some good old um, co- is it collard green? Collard, no collard mustard, 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 mustard greens. Greens. sweet mustard greens. I I'm, never had mustard greens. I never had sweet greens until you made them for me. Ooh, Man. that's crazy. And I kind of want to know what you put up in that cornbread too. Ooh, that's a secret. That's a secret. <laughs> Y'all gotta follow uh, the Be Unique Experience on YouTube to follow all of my recipes. Got give you. them, give them your um social medias. Okay, social media. Instagram is b underscore u n e e e. That's three e's k. My um Facebook is. You can follow me at Monique Millions. That is M O N I Q U E. Last name Millions, like a million dollars. Period. I'm a million dollar girl. Matter of fact, I'm a billion dollar girl. But right now, it's Monique Millions. Um, um and then we are on TikTok at B Unique Boutique. That is B. U N three E's E E E K B E A U T I Q U E. All right, y'all. This is part one. We will be back with Monique again in part two and Brie again in part two. You can follow us on our Instagram at Royals po- the Royals Poly Life. Our TikTok the Royals Poly Life back up. Royals Poly Life backup and the Royals Poly oh, Life. Yeah. <laughs> Our YouTube <laughs> on the spot when I be thinking. <laughs> Our YouTube. Our YouTube Royals Poly Life. Um, that's Facebook, it. Facebook, Royals, Poly, Royals Life. Poly Life, Instagram, the Royals Poly Life. And thank y'all for being down for the crown. This is part one. We will be back. Hey.